So welcome back aliens, this is Navin Reddy from Telescope Learnings and in this video we'll see how to work with something called as property property files. Now what exactly these property files are? So when you, when you work on a project and uh, for your project you need some initial configuration, right? When you work with Hypernet framework, when you work with Spring framework, you need some property files, right? Or you need some configuration so you can write those configuration in a property file so again we have different choice we have we can also work with uh, XML but people do use property files so let's in this video we'll try to understand what is properties properties file now uh, so to create a property file what we'll do is we'll go to our project which is hypo demo here and uh, do you have a file let me oh, done okay so what I will do is I will create a file oh in fact we can create a file using code also so what we'll do, we'll get a file, okay, now in that file, what, what the structure we have is, so every property file, we will have a key and a value. So in one property file, we can have multiple keys and multiple values. Example, let's say, uh, I want to connect to a database. So when you connect with a database, you have to specify three things. You have to specify the URL of the database, I mean the, sp I mean the location where you want to store database. And the second one is the username, so we'll say uname. And the password to access the database so you can write these three things in a file uh, called as properties files and you can fetch these elements later now how can you store these values in a property file to do that we need to first create object of properties so properties is a inbuilt class in Java it belongs to Java to util package and if I go to properties it it, it was introduced in version 1.0 so it is there from a long back, right? It is. It has lots of features. And the awesomeness about properties is it extends hash table, which means that uh, you, you have a key value pair. So properties is a key value pair thing. So we can say properties. And we'll say this is p equal to new properties. So that's, that's the object we got. So once we, so once, uh, in fact, if you want to work with properties files, the external files, the class name itself is a property. Okay. Now, whenever you when you work with properties files and whenever you work with data, you want to store that data in a file, right? Of course, it's a it's a file properties file. So for that, we need to first create object of file. So and we need to store data into that. So we'll say we'll create object of output stream so that we can store data outside. And again, uh, as you know that we have to import the package for this. We'll say OS equal to new file output stream because output stream is a abstract class if I'm not wrong yeah so it's an abstract class right we cannot use we cannot create object of abstract class so we'll use file output stream which specifies that you are working with file so we can have any file name here we'll say this is data config dot properties that's no file name and it doesn't matter what file name you have in fact you can also work with txt you can say abc dot txt you can say um, I mean demo.txt you can have anything or uh, so we can have properties file properties as an, as an extension or we can have text as an extension but uh, to make it more intuitive we'll, we'll make it properties now once you got the object of output stream now let's set some properties we'll say p dot set property and so you can see we got a key value pair there so we can specify the key as let's say I want to specify the URL first so the URL for the database is, let's say it is there on the local host machine and it has a, uh, I mean the, the port number for that is 3306, that's the MySQL port number and the database name is MyDB, so that's my database name, okay. So we have localhost colon 3306 slash MyDB, that's my database name. Now next is, I want to set one more property, I mean two more properties, one is username and password. So we'll, this, we'll say this is uname and this must be the password let's say oh sorry this must be username i will say naveen and t p dot set property and i want to set password now so i will say this is pass and i want to set the password as let's say four zeros so that's my password okay so the, all this information will go into into the file now now by default it will not go right you have to push this data into file so the idea, I mean, how to push this file is you have, there's a method called a store. So when you say store, it will push your data, I mean, this properties into the file. 
but the problem is it is p dot store it is asking for the object of output stream which is there you can see this object you have to pass here and the next is the comments i don't want to pass any comments so we'll skip it null and that's it if you run this code you you can you can store data in the properties and if you run this code let's run this you can see there is no error in fact we have not uh, printed any statement so it is not printing anything but let's verify do we have that file there and you can see this is our project folder and i do have a file which is data config dot properties and if i open this file you can see we got username as navin url is this and pass is this it's that simple okay so now we know how to store data into the file right i mean in the uh, in the prop in the properties files uh, in the next video we'll see how to fetch in fact let me just have one more look on that on the code uh, it's here so you can see we have the steps are you have to create a properties file and we'll, we have to create object of output stream to store data into the file and then we can set the properties here and we can when you say store it will it will save the property now let's understand okay let's let's, let's do it here itself we can, let's try to read the values now how do you read a value for the properties so for that uh, now see we, we have the values there right now let me remove that this stuff here and this time uh, I have all my values in the properties file so you can see I have my values here I want to fetch these properties in the Java code again so how to do that now so to fetch the value so again you, you, you guessed it right to store data we use output stream to fetch data we have to use input stream so we'll say input stream is equal to new uh, now we cannot say input stream we have to say file input stream so that's file input stream in bracket you have to specify the file name and the file name here is data config dot properties so let me import the package and package imported now once you got the input stream object it is very simple now whenever you want to property when you want to work with properties file we have to we have to load the property file first now how do you load the property file i mean how, how would you do load this file here so we have to say it's p dot load and in bracket you have to pass object of input stream which is is now when you say p dot load is it will load all the data from this property file in this property p object because that's an external file right and now let's try to print the value so we'll say I want to print the first value which is the u name so we'll say p dot get property and inside get property okay not get but get property inside you have to specify the key so we'll say I want to print u name now if you specify u name and if you run this code uh, you can see it, it, it got Navin and if I want to print the database configuration so we'll say p dot get property not get get property and if I specify the URL, it will print the complete URL. Oh, it's giving me an error because I have used some extra bracket there. And if I run this, you can see we got the URL. And now these things are coming from properties file. Uh, if I try to edit the file, if I make some edit, like let's say my database name is not, not uh, my DB, my database name is your DB. And if I run this file coming to Eclipse, oh, okay. So you can see it gives you an error so because we have created the file from the java code right and you cannot change the, uh, those things anyway so let me just go back to the things that's bad yeah so now let me just oh the problem was with r um let me say ydb now oh, this should work there's something wrong with the path yes it is not accepting the slash character because we have to cancel those right because Java cannot interpret slash I mean it will it will make it as a special character right okay let me just run this once again you can see we got the slash there that's ydb and what else uh, so this is how you can save the properties and you can get the properties in fact when you work with a framework like hibernate framework we got a chance of setting the hyper I mean the properties using property files again you can use XML you can use annotations but this is one of the way in fact you can print all the values if you say simply say list and if you specify where to print I will say system 
uh, dot out it will print everything on the console now I mean all the properties you can see that so it says listing the properties you name printed the URL printed and password printed okay so that's how property file works so if you have any queries let me know in the comment section I will try to make a new video on that and that's it I hope it, uh, you ha it, it helped you and just click on the like button if you like this video thank you so much